Nissan's range has been electrified. Now, I know new technology can sometimes be rather confusing, but don't worry, I am here to guide you through it. This is the new Aria. It's an all-electric car, also known as an EV. EVs like the Nissan Leaf and Aria have no engine, just an electric motor powered by a large battery. You use a power outlet to refuel and will never have to go to a petrol station again. Now you can charge at home and wake up to a nice full battery every morning. Plus, you can take advantage of cheaper overnight electricity tariffs. On longer journeys, you can top up at a public rapid charger, adding up to 217 miles of range in around 30 minutes. Combine this with an overall range of up to 329 miles and you can have the confidence to head further afield. You also get all of the motors torque as soon as you touch the accelerator and that makes it feel really quite responsive. But pure electric cars aren't just enjoyable to drive, they have other benefits too. There are zero tailpipe emissions, you won't pay anything for the road tax, there's no congestion charge, servicing is cheaper and there are big tax benefits if you're a company car driver. Nissan's experience in electrified and electric vehicles should give you that confidence to make the switch. ePower is available on the Qashqai and the all-new X-Trail. ePower uses the combination of a lithium-ion battery and a petrol engine as a generator to feed energy into an electric motor, which in turn drives the wheels. Now, as the wheels are being driven by the electric motor 100% of the time, it actually makes the Qashqai feel like an electric car to drive with that instant and surprising responsiveness. It's also a much quieter driving experience compared to the equivalent model with a mild hybrid engine. The petrol engine recharges the battery, and like electric cars, the e-power system also harnesses the energy usually wasted during braking to recharge the battery, so it doesn't have to be plugged in to charge. It's also up to 20% more fuel efficient than the equivalent model with a mild hybrid petrol engine. It's really simple to drive, and you won't even need to adjust your driving habits to charge. Clever, eh? This Nissan Juke is a full hybrid, also sometimes called a HEV. It uses both an electric motor and a petrol engine. It can switch between the two or use both at the same time, depending on what's best for performance and efficiency. You don't need to plug the Duke in, as the hybrid system will either charge the battery using the petrol engine or harness energy which is usually wasted in braking, holding it in a battery and then feeding it back to help improve fuel efficiency. Sometimes, like now, it can be just electric, which means it's quiet and refined. You can also select a pure EV mode using this button, which works up to 34 miles per hour. Now, while the technology is clever, you don't actually have to change the way you drive at all. That means you'll be cutting your exhaust emissions too, which is good for us all. This car is fitted with mild hybrid technology, which can help you use less fuel. Mild hybrid is available on Nissan's Qashqai and X-Trail. It has a petrol engine and drives in pretty much the same way as the Qashqai you might be used to. But it uses mild hybrid technology to harness energy, which is usually wasted. So basically, when you press the brake pedal, the generator collects some of that energy that otherwise would have been lost and puts it back into the battery. The battery then uses the energy to power things like the electrical systems instead of taking power from the engine. So when the car is stationary or driving down a hill, it can switch the engine off automatically, saving on fuel. As soon as you need to move off, the engine starts up in an instant, which you might not even notice. And you get these benefits without having to change a single thing about the way you drive.